Hi guys, Javier Antunes here, owner of Tattoo Theory. You're again with Tattoo Theory Tuesdays, uh, where we give tips and tricks on ways to better our career. On this side, we have latex, chlorpan, and nitrile. Sometimes some clients are allergic and don't know it. They'll tell you they're allergic halfway through the piece or whatever the case may be. So it's always good to kind of make sure you have the other, the other types of gloves so that in case you do have a client that's allergic, you're, you can kind of back them up there. There's one little trick I've kind of learned over the years that kind of helped me out, especially 15 years into it, you know, your body begins to ache and hurt, you know, and stuff like that. Normally I would have to wear large, but I actually order the medium, mostly because what ends up happening is they end up act, actually acting like compression gloves. They kind of push your hand naturally inward. And in combination with the bandages onto the machine grip, basically you kind of create a ball where your, your hand will naturally grip onto the machine much more easier than if you didn't have it. You kind of just go ahead and slide the bag inside. Just kind of grab all the way through. Usually what I like to do too, that I actually learned from Dr. Zeke, is keeping a little bit over and then folding it this way. Because what ends up happening is, you can actually create a complete total barrier for your entire machine without even having to worry about it. Now, if you have the one inch bandages, usually what I like to do is kind of use up the entire bandage altogether. And basically keep it nice and tight. And then round and round it goes. And then usually what I like to do is when I'm about halfway through the bandage, I begin to kind of diagonally wrap all the way around to kind of create almost like that ball shape. If you have a Gorilla Grip for your Zion, it actually ends up being a much larger grip. Actually, you end up doing really a nice trick with uh, just a one inch bandage. You just kind of push it a little bit further down so you get it nice and exposed, the plastic part. And there you have it, you're pretty much good to go. When you let go of your hand, it'll naturally grab onto the machine without putting that much effort or that much force. It kind of saves your wrists and stuff like that over time. Now, if you really, really want like a much bigger one, you can always go for the two inch. And that one is actually kind of a fun little trick because what you do is that you basically begin the same way. You begin kind of just wrapping, wrapping, wrapping. But in the very beginning, you start to twist it as you kind of go along. And what ends up happening is you end up getting the same exact effect, but a much larger version of it. Ends up looking a little bit on the ugly side, but that's where you kind of straighten out and you pretty much cover it up. Now, when you're putting it on, it's always good to kind of not do too much pressure for a very particular reason, because once it's all on there, because it's the cohesive bandages, basically once you grab onto your machine, just get it nice there and you just get nice and squeezed tight. What ends up happening is it ends up actually forming exactly to where your hands are. So every time you go grab the machine, naturally your hand will go right to where back where it was and pretty much you'll be good to go. This is a great way to kind of help with protecting your wrists over time, over the years, especially, you know, right now if you've only been doing it for a year, two years, six months, whatever the case may be, you really aren't kind of thinking about that kind of stuff. But as the years progress and you start reaching your 10 year mark, 15 year mark, your body begins to kind of pay the price. So these little tiny things will save your butt in the long run. All these kind of products you can find at darklab.com, same thing with the gloves, same thing with the bandages. If you guys have any other tips and tricks you guys want us to try to tackle, or if you have any questions, make sure to leave it in the comments below and we'll make sure to get back to you as soon as we can. Thanks, have a good one.